feel it in your hand when you're playing it or tapping it. It's not particularly strong. Most of the vibration is more around the bottom of the rim on the outside, which is probably what you're experiencing there. Yes, I'm feeling it here. Yeah, yeah, rather than in the middle of the system. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But so you feel it. Oh, yes. And the body really picks up. It gets, it's not just an audible thing anymore. It's like the vibrations are going right in. And so, and then it also carries on vibrating. Mm -hmm. Carries on sounding. Well, it's still vibrating if you try to go there. Because that's what I was trying to do, and it, it didn't seem to do it. But then I'm not good at it. Perhaps it's being a bigger bowl, because the smaller bowl, as you push against it, it moves slightly. Yeah. You go. So you can also gently put a hand, we'll do this with the, with the crystal balls tomorrow. You can also gently put a hand in, particularly on the bigger balls. So, for example, if you, if you don't mind, if you just move your, move your legs slightly apart, so if we could have a grounding one down here. The thing is, is that often it's, it's good to just use um, the mallets, and you can place them, what do you do with the balls? You can place them in different, in different places. So if you're needing to work and support a particular chakra, you could have it there, on a grounding one. You could have a wanting to you know help with the crown chakra it's probably best to put it above yeah. and tap that yeah. yeah. I don't know so you can have them placed in a different way So this is where, if you're conscious about the notes and you've got them, you could be having, you know, like different mm. intervals set up like this, matching up, or you could just have them matching up with the chakras, mm. just in terms of their position. But with all of this, you want to have them quite close, you know, ideally, so that um, you're within this kind of six inch biofield around the body, because this is where you know, it's, very, it's very potent with the um, exchange of ions that happens between the physical body and, uh, and the atmosphere around us. Would it matter if, when you put it on me, it was on soft tissue area, if you had somebody who perhaps had arthritis, and you put it on a joint, perhaps a knee yeah. or a knee, yeah. Yeah. because it would reverberate on the joint? Yeah, that's fine, you can put it on the hip. Yeah, absolutely. It's really, it's really powerful this stuff. Um, you can put it on the back, you can put it on the sacrum, on the yes, back. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. The sacrum is a really effective place. Mm. It balances the whole uh, autonomic nervous system really effectively. But yeah, you can place it on joints. So if there's shoulder problem... You plonk it on that one, because I don't know. Plonk it on that shoulder problem, yeah. <laughs> 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 and the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. That goes down my right down there. <coughs> so I would probably probably work on the shoulders when you lie in front actually because it's a bit more spread yes. out like that. Yeah. Um, but again, you know, if there's any kind of chest conditions mm -hmm. like uh, asthma, bronchitis. So, I mean, apart from having a direct impact on the chakra and then the corresponding organs and glands, um, it's, it's also these balls have an effect in terms of them triggering this relaxation response mm -hmm. in the body, which creates a cascade of hormones and neuropeptides to be released in the brain throughout the endocrine system as well, which has the effect of countering the stress and encouraging the body to relax and enables the immune system to function more efficiently. 
So even with the tinctures, when you're doing that, when you were doing it with the uh, for the diagnosis, mm. that in itself is immensely relaxing mm. to the client mm. and, and helps to trigger this kind of response. Mm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>